Hi, I'm Thorsten from TS Systems and in today's video I want to show you some of the new features and improvements in Photomate R2 1.8. So with the last update we are mostly focused on editing speed and uh, editing uh, features and so on. Um, and with this um, version we are more focusing on usability and we are also introducing one new editing feature which I will show you a little bit later but um, most of the features are related to better usability and, and yeah more, more stylish uh, stuff. So the first thing you will see when you open now the app for the first time or after the update um, you can choose your favorite theme. So the theme means um, how the app is displayed like the background, the font colors and maybe even the action bar and so on. So the default theme is black like before so if you don't want to change any anything and you like the default style you can just press done and you are good to go. But maybe you want to add uh, or want to try something different so you can for example use the, the blue style here and as you can see it's updating already and all the stuff is now blue here and you can maybe also use white um, so you have pretty pretty uh, bright uh, backgrounds and black colors. In some cases uh, this is might useful. I personally prefer uh, the dark gray which is almost uh, black but a little bit gray and um, after that I selected uh, my favorite theme I can press done. Um, of course you can change this editing uh, uh, this uh, theme or, uh, always in the preferences. Okay so when you open the app you will see the new sidebar menu which is actually not completely new because there was already a sidebar menu uh, where you could add your favorite places but we decided to rearrange all of it and um, now you can uh, uh, always see and always access your favorite places as before but we also moved all the storages now here to this menu so this uh, these storages like uh, my internal SD card and my micro SD card uh, you could access before by pressing storages um, in the menu. Now this is gone and you can access it all from here and you also have now the network here and um, this whole file system where you can access um, yeah, all your mount points um, from your device which was before also a menu option um, and we think that's uh, easier uh, and, and yeah more uh, yeah, better to access this way here. And you also have the history um, and this means you can always revert back to a previous folder. So for instance when I switch to any of my favorite folders here, maybe go in, in this folder and when I now um, bring back um, the menu here, you can see my history. So I'm now at my micro SD card um, and I was in the raw folder of my micro SD card before and uh, at the beginning I was um, in a video folder on my internal storage so I can just jump back to my um, folder here and now I'm just having this one in the history so I can easily step multiple uh, yeah I can go multiple uh, steps back um, which you normally do by pressing multiple times the back key so this, I think this is quite easier if you uh, um, access a lot of folders. Um, you can also easily access subfolders um, which also worked before for the favorite places. You can now also do it with your storages. So for instance if I want to access um, my micro SD folders I just press on the icon here and now I see all my subfolders um, and now I can open the subfolder again and I can easily uh, see all the folder folders inside pretty, uh, pretty quickly and can um, go into any of that folders and the menu is still here so I can always go to another folder or I can close these folders again here. So let's go back in the history to my um, root folder. Um, okay so that's about um, the navigation menu here on the side. Um, we hope that this is quite useful for uh, some people and that you, you can easily copy and paste files here. Okay so now let's talk about a new editing feature and for this I will open an image here um, and go to develop and first I will reset every editing here and I will turn back the exposure a little so when I zoom in here in that image you can hopefully see on the camera that there are some chromatic aberrations um, in this image so when I go to the lens corrections now 
Um, I could use the lens profile, but not all lens profiles support the automatic chromatic aberration correction. So what I could do now is to use the red cyan and blue yellow sliders and yeah, try to fix the chromatic aberration here. But this sometimes is uh, quite a cumbersome um, work to do and sometimes you just want to do a quick and easy chromatic aberration correction. So for this we're introducing the new autochromatic aberration correction which works basically for any image from any lens. Um, and you can just choose your level of um, yeah of correction. Um, I will use normal here which should be enough for most cases and you can hopefully already see that most of the chromatic aberrations are gone when I switching um, here between off and normal. Um, we hope that this is quite useful. In some case you want to have a quick result and don't have the right lens profile or don't want to do anything manually here. So yeah, um, that's that for this video. Um, I hope that you find some of the new uh, features quite useful and enjoy some of the new themes and see you in the next video. Bye!